Hey, what's up guys? Eric Thane here and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about how to fish for clients and land them every single time. This is a question that a lot of entrepreneurs have is like, how do I get clients, right? And believe it or not, there's actually a very specific formula for how to get clients in any type of business, regardless, regardless of the type of business that you are running. And I actually learned this formula from bass fishing. Now, I've never been into fishing before. Uh, you know, I grew up going, you know, I'd go fishing with my dad or with my uncle or whatever. Occasionally, it was not really a thing that we did very often, but every once in a while we would do it. And, uh, you know, to me, fishing was always boring. It's just it, like, sorry to anybody that loves fishing. Um, I actually love it now. But uh, fishing was always like you would go to the pond or to the lake or whatever. You'd take a reel and your bait on there, like a worm or something, you'd throw it out there and then you would just let it sit there and you would sit and just hang out and um, and hopefully something would bite it, right? And, and I can understand like being older, like that might be relaxing for some people, but for me, like as a kid, it was just like, it was boring. I didn't, I didn't wanna go just sit there and hope that something was gonna bite. And uh, it wasn't until actually last year, so right around the time when COVID started picking up, when lockdowns started happening, we were sitting at home, we couldn't go anywhere, there was nothing was open, and we're just sitting around and we started to get bored. Now, I didn't really, you know, it didn't affect me as much as some other people because I'm used to being at home. I work from home. I've worked from home for a long time, and so I'm used to just being at home, being in my office all day, and that's kind of my life, right? Well after a few months of like really not being able to go anywhere <clears throat> or do anything, uh, it started to take its toll, right? And we started to get a little bit stir crazy. And so I started thinking of things that like, what could, what could we do? What could I do to get my family outside, to get myself outside, to just get us like getting some more vitamin D, some more sunlight, like just get outside, right? And so I, I thought about fishing and we live in Texas Bass fishing is like amazing in Texas, I had heard. And so I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna try learning how to fish. And so I went to the store, I bought a fishing rod and a reel. Uh, I went to Bass Pro Shops and I was like, hey, what do I need? Like, give me all the stuff. And you know, they asked me a few questions and gave me some stuff. And we're like, this is what you need. And I took it out to the pond and uh, found a pond on Google Maps. And I was like, I'm gonna go fish, I'm gonna find some fish. And I went out there and I started casting and reeling and casting. <laughs> and reeling, and over and over and over again, and nothing, 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 nothing. And I was so excited to catch fish, but like, I wasn't catching anything. And so I'm like, man, this is a lot harder than I thought. Like, maybe there's something to this that I'm not understanding. And uh, just, to, just to cut quick to the analogy, I think a lot of entrepreneurs that are starting out kind of experience the same thing, right? We get excited about starting an online business. We get start excited about, you know, making money and like building a lifestyle for ourselves and everything. And we go out there into the market and we start casting and reeling and casting and reeling and nothing comes up and we can't get the clients and they don't want to pay us what we want. And it's just a struggle for a while, right? And so if you're an entrepreneur that's starting out and you're struggling with that, like I totally feel that pain. Now, after this experience, after I fished like a few times and wasn't catching anything, I wasn't figuring out, I decided, you know what, maybe I should go to the internet and learn how to do this. Maybe there's more to it. And I dove deep into fishing, right? I started watching YouTube videos. I started reading blogs. I started like signing up for newsletters and stuff and started learning everything that I could about fishing. Um, I'm the type of person, like when I decide to do something new, I become a sponge and I just, I just soak up everything. And so I was soaking up all this information. I was learning everything I could about fishing and all this stuff. And I started to go down this rabbit hole and learn just like how deep it is and how much you can learn about fishing and how, you know, what I wanted to know is like, how do professionals, like to me, fishing's just, you just throw a thing out there and then they bite it, right? But like, how do professionals catch so much more fish than people who are amateurs? Like there's gotta be some skill to it. And I realized that there is. There's a few things that you have to know in order to catch lots and lots of fish or clients, if you will. So number one is you have to know what species you're fishing for. This is so critically important. So if you go to the store and you start buying all this gear and all this bait and lures and everything specifically for trout, you're probably gonna have a hard time catching bass, right? And so you've gotta know what species you're trying to 
uh, target first so that you can throw the right thing. Now, the species that you're targeting actually determines everything else. It determines the type of gear you use. It determines where you fish. It determines the, the lures that you use and the bait that you use, how you do it. Everything that we're gonna talk about in this video is determined based on the type of fish that you're actually trying to attract. Now, it's the same thing in business. Everything starts with the who. Who is your target market? Who's your ideal client that you're going after? And figure that out first. What I always say is the who dictates what you do. Everything that you do is dictated by who your target market is. So you have to know that super well before you get started. Number two in bass fishing is once you know the species, you've gotta be able to fish in the right location. Okay, you have to know where the fish are. Now this starts with just fishing in the body of water that actually has those fish. So if you're fishing for bass, you've got a fish in a pond that has bass in it, right? If there's no bass, it doesn't matter how amazing you are at fishing, you're never gonna catch a fish, okay? So you've gotta know what bodies of water to fish in, but then also, in addition to that, you have to know where in that body of water the fish are likely to be hanging out right? Because when you go fishing for bass, um, what they say is that in any body of water, only 20% of it is actually inhabited by fish. That means 80% of it, there's no fish. And if you're casting where there's no fish, you're never going to catch a fish, right? In marketing, it's the same way. Once you know who your target market is, you need to find out where they're congregating, where are they at, where are they spending time, whether online or offline? What forums are they on? What social media websites are they on? Where are they, you know, are they on Facebook? Are they on Instagram? Are they on Twitter? Are they on LinkedIn? Are they on Clubhouse? Where are they at? And you want to go and be in that same location. Again, because if you cast your specific lure for a specific type of fish into a place where that fish doesn't exist, you're not going to catch any fish or clients. Okay, so that's number two. Number three, once you know who your target market is or who, what type of species you're going after, once you know where that species is at, the next step is to use the right bait. So if you are fishing for the right type of fish and you're fishing in the right location, but you're using the wrong bait, you're not going to be able to catch a fish, right? There are specific types of baits that work for different types of fish. So Typically, the conventional wisdom for fishing is that you want to pay attention to what the fish are feeding on in that body of water. So if they're feeding on minnows or shad, then you want to use a bait or a lure that looks like a minnow or a shad. Or if they're feeding on like crawdads, then you want one that looks like a crawdad, okay? And so by doing that, by mimicking what they're already eating, then you can attract them and get them to bite on your bait. Now in marketing, once you know who your target client is and you've gotten into their market and you know exactly where they're at, you need to come up with a bait. This is gonna be your product or something that you're offering into the market. So your offer has to be something that you already know this target market is buying. Too many entrepreneurs try to reinvent the wheel and say like, I'm gonna try and catch fish with something that's never been used to catch fish before, right? Or I'm gonna create an offer or a product that's never been used in this market or isn't proven to be successful in this market. And then that's why they end up failing. So as with fish and with clients, make sure that you've got a really good offer that people want to buy or the fish want to bite. And number four, once you throw the bait out there to catch the fish, it's not enough to just let it sit out there and just not do anything. Of course, there are certain types of lures that you will do it that way. However, what's more important now is the presentation. So if you take a bait that's meant to be reeled really fast and you throw it out there and you just let it sit there, you're gonna have a hard time catching fish. And on the other hand, if you take a worm or something that's meant to just let it sit out there and you start reeling it through the water like it's swimming, again, you're gonna have a really hard time catching fish. And so it's not just about the bait, but it's about the presentation. How you reel the bait in, how you shake it, how you twitch it, how you move it, how you let it sit there, however you do it, the way that you do it is so important because you've gotta make the fish think that that bait is a real live bait and something that they wanna eat. If you do it wrong, if you do the presentation wrong, they're gonna know that it's not real. They're gonna know it's a lure. They're gonna know that somebody's trying to catch them and therefore they're not gonna bite. It's the same thing with clients. When you put your offer out into the market, 
you've got to present it in a really good way. This means that you've got to write good copy. You have to be good at ads. You have to be good at marketing. You've got to be good at creating content, social media content out there that's going to position your product in such a way that makes it seem more uh, appetizing and makes the your target market actually want it. So how you present the bait is just as important as having a good bait or how you present your offer is just as important as having a good offer. So now let's recap and kind of go back and look at this because now you know how to be an expert fisherman. Let's look at it from the point of the client. So in order to be good at getting clients and landing those fish, landing those clients, you have to, number one, know who your target market is. Know exactly, like I can't even stress how important it is to know exactly who it is, what they want, what their dreams are, what their pain points are. Know them so well. You have to know them better than they know themselves so that you can actually create a product that works for them. So you've got to know your target market. You have to know where your target market is at. So where are they congregating? Where are they getting together? What social media sites online and offline? Where are they getting together? How can you go and be in that congregation so that you can start marketing to them? Number three, you got to have a really good compelling offer, something that makes them want to bite every single time because that offer is so important. And then number four, you've got to present the offer in the right way. Have really good marketing and sales messaging around your offer to make it as appetizing as possible, to make it as appealing as possible so that your clients want to take that offer and you'll be able to land more clients by doing that. So if you want to learn how to build a real business online and start getting tons of high ticket or low ticket clients into your business right now, I've got a live virtual two day event coming up called Mighty Offers Live, which is where I'm going to spend two entire days teaching you exactly how to create amazing offers for your target market, how to figure out who your who is, figure out where they're at, create an offer for them and how to present it in such a way that you will get tons of buyers coming in the door in your business. So if you're interested in checking that out, there's a link down below to the event. It's mightyofferslive.com. You can go ahead and get a ticket for our next event. And again, two full days where I'm gonna be training for eight hours a day. It's a really intense live workshop where we're workshopping your offers, we're helping you get it figured out so that by the end of the event, you know exactly what to sell, exactly how to present it, and exactly who your target market is so that you can be as successful as possible in your online business. So go ahead and check that out down below. If you have any questions about this video, feel free to leave a comment and I will check those out and we'll see you on the next one.